This video addresses the process of applying fade cues to a video cue. In particular, we're going to look at the process of creating a fade out for a video cue. The first thing we want to do is look at our first video cue. If we look in the Display and Geometry tab of the Inspector panel, you'll notice that the opacity for this video is set to 100%. And that means if I click Go, that we can see the video as it was originally recorded. It is outputting at full opacity. Opacity just means the amount of the background that can be seen through a video cue. So if I go over here to the opacity and pull it down to say 50% or so, you will notice that the video appears to be getting darker. And that is just because we're seeing more of the black background through it. If I bring it all the way down to zero, we'll notice that we can't see the video at all because it is at a high opacity and we're only seeing the black background through it, even though you can notice that the video is still playing up here. So bringing our opacity back to 100%, that will be the basis for creating a fade out. We want to start with the video playing at 100% opacity. The second step to this process is going to be just inserting a fade cue. So to do that, I'm going to click on the fade cue icon in the toolbar, and that will insert a fade cue directly following our video cue. We want to go ahead and grab our video cue and pull it over the fade cue until you see this blue rectangle appear about it. And that means that we have targeted that video cue with the fade cue. Uh, the next step that we want to do is selecting the fade cue, go ahead and click on the geometry tab and pull the opacity down to zero. The next thing that we want to examine is how long this fade cue is going to take or what the cue duration will be. So in order to do that, we're going to click on the curve shape and we'll notice that there is a tab over here labeled duration. It defaults to five seconds, although you can make it longer or shorter, however you choose. I'm going to go with an eight second fade on that. And let's go ahead and see what that process is going to look like now. So if I activate the video cue, we can see it in the audition window at 100% opacity. And if I click go on the fade cue, it will take it from 100% to 0% over an 8 second duration. Now the one thing you will notice is the fade cue has taken out the video and yet it is still actively playing in the background. That's because we need to activate this one little button over here called stop target when done. If we click that, we will see that once a fade has been activated, and its duration is elapsed, then the actual video cue that it has targeted will stop playing in the background, as we can see here. Uh, so that is the process for putting a fade out on video by using the fade cue.